Right, Good morning everybody. We're off to Dunham Massey, it's called. Stately home and National Trust uh, place. And uh, on the way we're gonna dispose of our wastewater. Yeah. Uh, this is probably the for the for the beginners this is the easiest way of disposing of your motorhome wastewater and that's uh, using a motorhome waste disposal point or motorhome service point sometimes called and it's basically a, a grate with a hole in the in the ground that goes into the uh, into the drains so don't uh, don't take your motor home to these sort of points here. Uh, you'll annoy the caravanners and you'll block everything up as well. Yeah. yeah these no. points are designed for motorhomes. So the idea here is you drive over. There's a grate in the, uh, in the on the ground, and you position your waste point. Carefully look in the mirror. I think mine is just behind the back wheel, so I've got to wait for the back wheel to go over. Well, I should. And then you go backwards and forwards about five times <laughs> until you get to the right place. Yep. I'm actually going in the perfect position. Have you? Well. So I have to switch the power back on, go into water. Uh, sorry, water. I pressed heat in there. Water and empty waste. Empty wastewater confirm. There it goes. Currently on 50%, the flashing means the valve's open and the water's going. It's also a good time to fill up with water if you want, but wouldn't advise carrying too much water. I tend to travel with 25% fresh water. Um, don't really want to travel with more than that because it affects your weight and remember every litre of water weighs one kilogram. A 90 litre tank that would be 90 litres so like carrying an extra person. Ow. And Yes I do use a bit of hand sanitizer after I've been using the water points obviously because you don't know who's touch the taps right, off we go I'm gonna arrive an hour early if we're not careful yeah I'll try and stop in a lay-by somewhere yeah sure I've got the barrier key oh it opens automatically doesn't it yeah yeah it's always a good idea to check you've got it though before you come by yeah <laughs> No, you've not left it in the awning or something. That's right. We bought the car, the danger is you leave it in the car, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's the other thing, isn't it? If you're swapping things to and from the car. It doesn't really tell us which way to go out here, does it? It is, it is right. Yeah. This is quite a tricky road to get out of here. We come batting along here. Continue a quarter of a mile to the end of the street, then turn right. Okay. Roadworks were reported on M56. You are on the fastest route. Good. Nice to know, Mrs. Satnag. <laughs> Exit. Oh, God, where are you coming from? Breathe. <laughs> That's the key word for this satnag. No, it's Mrs. Satnag, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a roundabout. Take the fourth exit to M53. We're going south. Go towards Manchester. Yeah, it's near Altrincham, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So back on 
the M56. Yeah. Speed humps. Do, do, do. I need to get the phone. Yeah. Hi, I'm on it. Yep. Yeah. Brilliant. If you can send your rounds to the kiosk, yep. check your booking just round. Right, okay. 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 It's okay, are you? Yeah.
this is the point where we'd do something really interesting and tell you all about the house and its history and everything, but I can't get a signal, so, so I might do a little voice over here. So this is the deer park. Yeah. first mention of Dunham Massey Park was when they uh, recorded hunting deer and boar in the park in 1362. Right, in 1694 the second Earl of Warrington uh, inherited the Dunham estate. Uh, he was George Booth, the second Earl of Warrington. Uh, he inherited the Dunham estate with debts of £50,000. He began to plant hundreds of trees throughout the park you can see all around us yeah, yeah. providing a profitable timber industry uh, uh, resource for the future 1736 uh, Mary Booth daughter of the second Earl and his wife married Harry Gray uh, bringing the Stamford title to Dunham Duke of Stamford yeah, yeah. right in 1751, the enclosed deer park was completed. Uh, final bricks were put in place to complete the three mile long wall creating an enclosed deer park. Are you listening, Bobs? Bobby? Are you listening? <laughs> uh, 1856 is Dunham's la lost years. Uh, the seventh Earl, George Harry Gray, married his second wife Catherine Cox who was a former circus uh, performer in 1855 and obviously they were shunned by society because of that and they decided to leave Dunham and they took paintings, furniture and silver with them and Dunham was abandoned for 50 years. Oh. Remember that story when we went, went in the house? Yeah, yeah. It was in 1906 was the homecoming when the 9th Earl of Stamford William Gray returned to Dunham Massey with his wife Penelope Theobald and their children Lady Jane Gray and the future Earl Roger. So delighted to see the family return, Cheshire Society greeted the family carriage as it travelled through Hale and Aldringham onto Dunham Massey. Right. Well, that's actually them. Don't get too close. Sorry. It's actually them arriving then. Yeah. Wow. So then what happened? That was it. That was it? That was the so end, end of the, the bit I found. That was the end of the <laughs> bit. <laughs> right. Okay. So it started off in the Booth family. A Booth mar married a Grey. Yeah. And so it became William Grey. It's yeah. the last info you've got. Yeah. Alright pups. There are some incredibly old trees here. I suppose it's 300 years, isn't it? That yeah. uh, it's been a park like this. They're little oaks, aren't they? Yeah. That big one. The uh, deer park is absolutely huge. It it's, is. It yeah. seems to go on for absolutely uh, ages. Yeah. 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 You've got to stop for a sniff though, every so often. That's the rule. 